Alright, hello everyone. Okay, so today we are going to show on the internal purchase invoice applet. Okay, so let's go through some of the slide here. Okay, so basically for the internal purchase invoice, so this uh, applet will help to streamline the process of managing the purchase invoices by allowing businesses to efficiently track and handle this document. So basically a purchase invoice is a document that specifies the product or services purchased by your customer and the corresponding cost. So the invoice is sent to the buyer after the purchase has been made and is matched to the corresponding purchase order before the payment is been issued. Okay. So basically for the purchase invoice, we got a few tab in the purchase invoice. So later we go through each of the tab in the real applet. So we got the main detail, we got the e-invoice tab, we got the account lines, uh, knockoff for ERAP, which is uh, account receivable, account payable, payment, department header, uh, posting, trace document, contra, dot link, attachment and export. So this one later I go through in detail when we uh, demo at the applet site. And then for the e-invoice one, so basically for the purchase invoice, we will be issued the self bill purchase invoice. So there are two ways for you to do to set uh, it as a self bill purchase invoice. So first is either at the supplier applet when you are creating the supplier, you set this supplier as a e-invoice self bill, which is true. So means any document uh, issued to this supplier will be considered as a self bill purchase invoice. Okay. And then second, second one is if let's say you don't set the supplier as a self bill, you can also do so by creating the purchase invoice. And then you go to select the purchase invoice and click on the self bill. So this one also will mark that document as a self bill purchase invoice. Okay. So let's go through to the system okay so basically this is the internal purchase invoice applet so when you go you see the menu there are four menu currently so first we got the internet purchase invoice whereby you can create edit and also see the listing of the existing purchase invoice and then we got the line item where you can see each of the line for all the uh, purchase invoice and then third thing is the file import so means you can import the purchase invoice and also the last one is the file export me you can export out the purchase invoice from the listing so first let me go through on how to on the purchase invoice one so first let's go through each of the module so basically when we, if let's say you want to create a new purchase invoice you just click on the plus button okay so after you click on the plus button you will see got main detail so basically main detail you need to specify uh, what is your branch and what is your location? This one delivery. If let's say you are using delivery, then you can put delivery branch and delivery location. If you don't, you are not using that. We can hide this column, okay? And then who is your purchaser? What is your transaction date? And then if let's say you got set any credit term and credit limit for that customer, then it will be shown here for that purchaser, okay? So if let's say you got any reference, then you can put your reference and also your remark so this year is the if let's say you have any document uh you want to key in the document number then you can put is either quotation or uh, order delivery order or invoice for this purchase invoice okay external so most of this if you are not using then we can hide okay so for currency if let's say you are using normal currency then you just select measure if you are using the foreign currency, then you just select which currency that you are using. Okay. So if let's say I put US, then it will auto show uh, what is the currency rate currently based on the uh, API that we are calling, lah, which is uh, I think the third party API. So if let's say, then I just change back to measuring it. And then the tracking ID, if you have any tracking ID, then you can put the tracking ID. Okay. So this is the main tab information. So next one is the e-invoice. So basically when we are creating the e-invoice, uh, all, all of the information will be empty because we haven't select uh, what is our supplier. Okay. And we also haven't submit this. So you can skip this e-invoice tab during the creation. Then you go to the account. So under the account, you will select what is your 
uh, entity the one that you are going to do the purchase so if let's say i click on the entity id then i can find all the supplier list then i just select uh, which supplier that i want to do the purchase so from this step also you can see there is a button here so if let's say you want to create a new supplier then you just toggle it to create or edit mode and then you click on the plus to create a new supplier okay so if let's say you are just selecting from the existing then you just uh, put select mode okay so it will auto fill all the information that we already preset under the supplier uh, maintenance applet is any so after we already uh, specify all the account then we go to the line so in the line is where you are going to select what item you want to purchase so you just click on the plus then you can search for the item or you can select from the existing listing so example i take this one then i just add okay so means after you add then you can add more uh, all the item that you need and then uh, then we go next to the ar ap tab so ar ap tab also it will be i mean during the creation is not compulsory for you to check because this one will show what is the posting after this document is being created so it will show this one later when we go to the edit document i shall explain more detail about the, this part and then the payment if let's say you got receiving any payment then you just click on the payment to create uh, the payment okay and then the payment department header is if let's say you want to label you want to label this invoice uh, by segment gi dimension profit center or project then you can just put it under the department header okay and then the posting status also during the after you already create then only you can see whether you got any posting or not on the inventory or any journal or the cash book or tax posting okay trace document also contra so this contract that when you are going when you are creating if let's say you already create any payment voucher or any deposit any payment voucher for this purchase invoice then you can just directly contract it from here okay so means when you click plus you will see the list of the document that you can contract with this purchase invoice if any okay so if that if there is no any contract means you haven't received anything uh, you haven't do any payment yet for this supplier okay and then dot link okay uh, this dot link will only be shown if let's say you got using any knockoff uh, setting so means if let's say you got do any knockoff then it will show you are copy from which document to uh, or copy to which document okay and then we got the attachment if let's say you want to add the attachment and if let's say after you already create then you want to export then you can use this uh, tab So after we already key in all the information that you can just click on the create to save the document okay so this one i just cancel so let me show you one of the sample of the document that have all the information that we show just now so for example if let's say i click on this document so under the e invoice tag you can see uh, if there is any submission made for this document what is the supply information and then what is the progress for this document so if let's say it is already processed then you can see under the e-invoice uh, what is the error message if supply thing is missing so the rest of the process will not be proceed okay so means for the e-invoice data you will refer to the e-invoice tab here Okay, so if let's say you we go to the AR AP, then you, we can see what is the product and service amount and what is the document open amount. Means this one is still outstanding, haven't received any payment. Okay. Then if we go to the posting, then you can see is it got any inventory posting or not and the general posting, if there is any general posting or not. So it will be sure under here. So the trace document also uh, it will show if the, if let's say there is any 
uh, double entry there intuition what is the double entry tab here okay and then attachment and then export so after you already create then you can export uh, the document based on the printable format that you set So during the edit tab, you can still edit, but more, but what you can edit is, is basically only the reference and remark. So after you already did, then you can just save the reference and remark. Okay. So the the one that I mentioned, if let's say you you are creating this document and you assume it is a self build, then you can just tick for this document and click self build. So system we we update this as a self bill purchase invoice and submit it to the my e invoice portal. Okay, so means after you do so, then you, when you go to the my e invoice admin, then you will see there is a document coming from the purchase invoice. So it will be under the queue status, and the system we do we run the processor to check if uh, it is a valid. Then it will go through the IR, IRBS submission. Or if there is uh, any fail case, then it will go to the batch proof for the submission. Okay. So basically, during this grace period, we are allowed to do the consolidate self bill purchase invoice only during the grace period. So after we already finished the grace period, then self bill is not allowed for consolidate. Okay. So this one we need to take note. So if let's say we go to the my e invoice portal, so if let's say you go to the receive or submit there, you can see what is the self bill that you are that you already submitted by filtering the uh, document type. Or if let's say you got receive any self bill purchase invoice, then you can you can go to the receive tab and filter by the self bill purchase invoice. Okay. So this for the creation. Then the line item is, is just showing all the item listing. And then for the file import, if let's say you want to import in the purchase import, then you click plus, then you just extract the format and then upload back to the system. Okay. So file in export is for you to export all the document listing. So where do we do all the setting and configuration? So if let's say you want to hide any of the tab here, so what you can do is you can go to the setting and the application setting so you will see if let's say you want to hide the listing then you just configure it here uh, what is the setting that you want to configure and we also have a vertical ui so if let's say you want to use vertical ui then you just enable it here so what is vertical ui is just it is another version of the ui so basically before this we are using the horizontal so if let's say i'm using vertical it will be like vertically down i need to switch my personalization here okay i think this one haven't implemented yet so basically for vertical UI, what it will be is will be like main detail e inverse is going vertically, not horizontally. That is the difference lah for these two types. Okay, and then one more is I want to show is let me unhide this. So basically for the purchase invoice, when we are creating the purchase invoice, there can be two ways. First is either you are creating manually uh, purchase invoice from scratch or you can just using the KO function. KO for means uh, you are calling the document from GRN and then knock off it to create this purchase invoice. So what it will happen is if let's say you are you are you are selecting the purchase GRN and then when you click knock off, system will auto populate all the information from previous grn to the to create as a purchase invoice so all the main detail all the e invoice information all the item that is in the grn it will be auto populate okay 
So what you said need to do is just check uh, whether the line item correct or not. Then just create the purchase invoice. That's all. Okay. So we have two way to create the purchase invoice. So yep, that's so far for the purchase invoice applet. Is there any question? Alright. If there is no question, then we can end our session for today.